Fascinating stuff. Let's sort of turn quickly to, to what's been going on at CBS, your, your old network. Um, your former colleague, Lara Logan, on leave of absence over this report from Benghazi. Many people believing there's a slight double standard at CBS in the way that you were treated uh, in terms of the way you departed from CBS and the way that Lara Logan's been treated and the way they've handled this crisis. What do you think? Well, first of all, uh, CBS News has a lot to answer for this. There's a lot of questions. They've answered some of them. I, I don't want in any way to add to their burden. I know what it feels like, uh, and I know what it feels like to be the correspondent who is the center of the controversy when there are people both above and below you have plenty of questions answered. Well, I will make this point. With our story, the one that led to our difficulty, no question the story was true. Mm. What the complaint, and while we eventually, most of us lost our jobs, was okay, your story was true, but the way you got to the truth was flawed. The mm. process was flawed. That's not the case with the Benghazi story. Mm. Unfortunately, and there's no joy in saying it, they were taken in by a man who was a fraud. I mean, Laura Logan is, is an incredibly brave reporter. I remember her stuff from Egypt, and she was being assaulted and attacked in Tahrir Square, and you know, a really, really brave woman. Should it end her career at CBS? This is some people are, are crying. In my or? opinion, clearly labeled, no. Mm. Uh, and I'm so glad you mentioned that. Okay, whatever one thinks of what Larry Logan did or didn't do with the story, in fairness, it should be put against her whole record. She's yeah. still a very young correspondent, but for a young correspondent has a distinguished record. It should be seen in that context and in that perspective.